So welcome to Kathy's Corner. Now, I don't want to be too serious about this, you know? We have some topics that we should be talking about and we don't hear enough about. And the first one I want to talk about is decanting wine. So I was in a restaurant the other day and the server asked me if I wanted to decant the wine. And I thought, what a ridiculous question because I won't know until I know a few things about the wine. So the three things that make me want to decant a wine is one, does it have sediment? Usually older wines, very natural to have sediment, but you know, if you didn't already stand the bottle upright, then the sediment hasn't fallen to the bottle and decanting it is not going to help you separate the clean wine from the sediment part of the wine. The second reason you might want to decant is because the aromatics are a little bit tight and you want them to open up and decanting can help them to be more expressive. How do you do that? Well, give me a little taste. So take a little bit of this amazing Pinot Noir, but it's a young vintage. Take a little whiff. Oh, it's nice, but I think there's more to it. So let's just throw it in the decanter, even just a little bit. Give it a little spank then retaste the wine and see if it helps. So let's see. Oh my God, it's so much better. This wine is a little bit young and I can make it really be more expressive by decanting. The third reason you might want to decant is because the tannins are a little bit tight and you want them to become more silky. So how do you know, not just smell the wine, but taste the wine. So I go back to my original glass, take a little taste, I love it. This particular vintage, a little young. I'm going to decant it. Take a taste of the decanted wine. Just what I'm looking for. Three easy steps on how to decide whether to decant. Welcome to Kathy's Corner. Cheers.